injection boxes. So today we're doing what's called a pre-punch list before the architect and uh, owner uh, walk through. That way we can try and catch most of the quality issues and uh, things that might not be done before the owner and architect walk through and hopefully we get everything uh, addressed before they walk through and have a easy and pleasant walk through. Okay, for paint? Yeah. As we're using BIM 360, probably the biggest advantage, like I said, is just the ease of documenting it um, and the ease of holding people accountable. So I put in all of the information for the subcontractor, what needs done. I assign it to a person. So this is the subcontractor, uh, Emily. I tag a location so that she knows where it's at. And location details, all of third floor. Give them a due date when we want it done and then we tag a cause so that we can track the data. It helps us hold our subs accountable because that's our way of documenting. We say, hey, you know, this light is in the wrong place or um, that column needs to be repainted. Um, that's kind of our first uh, chance to catch those little things. And so on the subcontractor side, what they'll see is the floor plan and then they see the yellow dot that tells them where the issue was at and then when they click on it, they can look through and see what we wanted fixed. They can see the photo and everything. It makes a big difference, especially on a project of this size uh, with all the different amount of subs and uh, obviously the square footage of the building and every little aspect of it, it helps out because we can send it to a sub and then they can read it, see the location, where the item's at, what needs to be addressed, and then they can show us uh, that the work's complete. We can go back and look at it, and check it off. If we do it on paper, sometimes there's questions on where's this at, I don't really know where it's at, or there's not really any way of holding people accountable because it's hard to keep track of that paper, of when it was sent to them, when it was given to them. Uh, technology's been huge. Uh, from the BIM process, from the get-go of laying out all the MEP uh, finishes and rough ends has been great, uh, eliminates a lot of clashes. And then that open space uh, that we've used has been great for uh, looking through walls if we have to add conduits or know what's in there and make sure things got roughed in or there's backing in the wall. Uh, we can use that to go uh, look back in time without cutting open the wall.